thanks very much. First off, don't mind, I made a few changes to my speech. <laughs> it is so great uh, to see you all here today at such a pivotal moment in politics. As Greens, we know a pivotal moment when we see one. Ten years ago, while other parties were bailing out the banks, we were building a bridge to the future. As the whole financial system slid into the abyss, our very own Caroline Lucas was one of a small group of people who wrote a roadmap to something so much better. A Green New Deal. But that was nearly a decade ago. We had the chance to make a radical break from the past and shape a fairer, more prosperous future together. But we all know what happened next. World leaders rushed to rescue a failing economic model. Those that caused the crisis were just let off the hook. We went back to business as usual. And then we turbocharged business as usual. Inequality went through the roof. Living standards fell through the floor. And we kept pushing our planet onwards towards dangerous levels of heating. Back then, our economy itself warned us that things had to change. Now our very planet is ringing the alarm. And hitting snooze for another 15 years simply isn't an option. This is a different magnitude to the financial crash. You can't double down on business as usual, pray to the markets and expect the climate emergency to magically go into reverse. Everything needs to change. And so the Green New Deal is an idea whose time has come. Today, we are so proud to put forward a manifesto which puts us on track to decarbonize every single sector of the economy by 2030, while delivering social justice across Britain. <laughs> and we're entirely honest, it is the most ambitious Green New Deal anywhere in the world. Accept no limitations. The Conservatives say net zero by 2050. Not good enough. The Lib Dems say net zero by 2045. Not good enough. Labour members said net zero by 2030. Appear the boat back. Not good enough. <laughs> While the other parties are catching up, we're racing ahead into the distance, reaching new horizons. We're the groundbreakers. We're the innovators. We're the originators and the experts. We're the Green Party, and we're ready to remain and transform everything. Thank you. Deputy Leader of the Green Party. And as we launch our manifesto today, I want to make one thing very clear. A vote for the Green Party this December is the strongest vote that you can cast to keep Britain in Europe. Yeah. We are offering the only way forward from the wreckage of the 2016 referendum we're not just going to overturn the votes of millions of our fellow citizens. We're not going to use our friends and neighbours from 27 other countries as political pawns. And we're certainly no, not going to watch as Tory extremists drive our country off a cliff. <laughs> Greens are different. We will give you a people's vote your final say to stop Brexit. We want to stand up for freedom of movement. We've been Remain since the start, and we will be Remain until we win. 
Because let's face it, the climate emergency is not a problem that's going to stop at the border. It's something for future generations to worry, of, worry about, not some far-off threat. It's here. It's now. It's in the living rooms of families across Doncaster, Sheffield, Worcester and Nottingham. It's in water cascaded into the council chambers moments after politicians decided to vote against climate action. It's in California, one of the greatest concentrations of wealth in human history, powerless to stop the spread of wildfire. It's in the global south, where the deadly effects of global heating are falling on those who did the least to cause it. Only by working across borders can we tackle this existential threat to our planet. And that's why we're proud to have put aside tribal politics, to stand aside in key seats across the country, to give the people of Britain a real choice for Remain. In turn, others have stood aside for us in key seats like Bristol West, the Isle of Wight, which means more Greens sitting alongside Caroline Lucas in Parliament. With our dis disgustingly unfair voting system, this is what it takes to beat the Tories. This is what it takes to stop Brexit. And this is what it takes to win a Green New Deal. <laughs> this is grown up politics. This is how we win the argument to remain in the European Union while bringing our country back together. More importantly, this is how we'll transform the lives of every single person in Britain when you vote Green this December. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia. Today, we are at a crossroads. The actions we take in this parliament will set us down one of two paths. We can have a future where we've made our whole country carbon neutral, a future where we've mended our democracy, a future where we've ended poverty. Or we can take the other path, a future of chaos and social disaster. The Greens are clear about which path we must take as a country. And that's why each and every Green MP elected this December will have in their in-tray a legislative agenda ready to go. <laughs> Ten bills ready for the next parliament to hit the ground running. Because the future won't give us another chance to get these next two years right. Ten bills proposed by Green MPs. For a Green New Deal, a people's vote, NHS reinstatement, a further and higher education bill, a sustainable economy bill, a future generations bill, a bill to introduce universal basic income, a bill to build 100,000 new council homes a year, a renters' rights bill, and of course, a voting reform bill to give us a real democracy at last. Our manifesto is our vision for the future of this country. Our 10 bills for this new parliament will make our vision a reality. Every single Green MP you elect now will dedicate themselves to this agenda. The more Green MPs, the more chance we have to save the future. Greens will tackle the climate crisis. Greens will remain and transform. Greens will build a better Britain. This is the last election where we can take the first step down the right path, and that is what we must do. Vote Green, if not now, when? <laughs>
Thank you.